In this video, we will learn about the color wheel. The primary colors, secondary colors, warm and cool colors, and how watercolor can be painted into layers. The first thing we will do is we will make two circles, one big circle and one little circle within it. For this, I just use the top and bottom of my water cup to make the circles. Make sure you divide the circle into six different sections. Labeling for this part, we will only be using primary colors. And if you look onto my paper, I am labeling it as so, which is red into red yellow, into yellow, into yellow blue, into blue, and lastly, blue red and red. This is for coloring purposes, so we know what colors will go in what blocks. When we start painting, I will start off with red. And make sure you don't use too much paint because you could always go back and layer your colors. Once you're done finishing watercoloring all the blocks that have red in it, let it sit for five minutes to dry. color has dried, you can now move on to the next color. I will be using yellow next. As you can see, once I add the yellow to all my blocks, you can start to see that red-yellow starts to become orange. Once you finish watercoloring, let it set for another five minutes and then move on to the last color. Once you finished all your colors, you'll notice that there will be six colors now. The three new colors that you see are your secondary colors, which are created by mixing your primary colors. The secondary colors is green, orange and purple. What I want you to do is to label the secondary colors. Notice that one side of the circle will have a cool tone to it and the other half will have a warm tone to it. The cool colors include purple, blue, and green, and all the warm colors include red, orange, and yellow. And once you've labeled everything, your watercolor is complete. 
please feel free to share your artwork on our social media. We always enjoy seeing new artwork 